Hi, welcome in. This is Love Goddess Tarot. My name is Maureen. I'm so happy that you decided to stop by and I'm excited to do a pick a card love reading for you today. Today's reading is going to focus on messages about what's coming next in love. Today I am using several decks. I'm going to use the Crystal Visions Tarot, which is what you see right here. I'm using my two decks, which are the Teacup Love Oracle and the Aphrodite Love Oracle. Those are for sale. Um, you can check the link on my website to purchase those. You, they ship anywhere in the world. Um, I'm also using another one of my favorite decks, which is the Animal Spirit um, from the Wild Unknown, Kim Kranz. And I'm also going to use um, the Romance Angel Oracle. Okay, so we're going to get lots of messages. I may use a couple of other decks too. Um, it really just kind of depends, but this is where we're starting. Um, so I've given you four choices today, and I'm going to give you a closer look at each one of the cards and just see what energy you are drawn to. This is the unknown card, which is unique to the Crystal Visions deck. I love it. Um, see how you're feeling. Then we also have the Wheel of Fortune and the magician i love this magician i love his tattoos i think he's just really really hot <laughs> and the high priestess for those of you that are connecting with the high priestess energy today so take a moment pause the video if you want to and feel free to listen to more than one group okay you can listen to this entire reading because it is general and pick and choose what you are feeling um, is calling you. Okay, so always trust your intuition. Have fun. Sit back, relax, get comfy, get cozy. One, two, three, four. The timestamps are below. Hey, number one, I'm excited to do your reading. You're starting with the unknown card, which is unique to the Crystal Visions deck, which is the deck I'm using for your tarot today. I love that we have an unknown card in here. Um, let's see how that plays into your reading. I'm also going to be using my two decks, um, the Teacup Love. Love Oracle and the Aphrodite Love Oracle. So if you like those and you enjoy them and want to work with them yourself, you're welcome to. I do have a link here in the bot, um, in the description of this video, as well as um, if you just go to my homepage here on YouTube, you'll see um, how you can purchase them. Let's get started and see what messages are going to come through for you today about what's coming next in love. Like, what is coming up for you? Number one. Okay, wow. So it looks like you're moving away from a difficult time. You're moving away from a feeling of maybe being lonely, being isolated, or, um, you know, with the Five of Pentacles, it's like, yeah, feeling of being abandoned. I feel like you may have been stuck in a situation um, or staying in a situation in the past in terms of your love, your love situation um, that wasn't happy right? That didn't make you feel good. The five of pentacles is a feeling of loss. It's a feeling of, like I said, being left out in the cold, like being abandoned. Um, you know, it could even indicate that you've maybe gone through some tough times financially and you've been working through some difficulties, right? Um, and what I see here, though, is that there is an energy that the universe wants to move. It wants to move you out of this situation. There's some sort of stuck energy, though, or resistance, and I don't know what that is. Um, you know, if you're feeling that, if that resonates with you, take that message. But there is this past energy of... Um, lack and of being stuck almost, right? Maybe just feeling like, hey, it could even manifest as I haven't found anyone. Like I haven't had love. I haven't had a decent relationship or um, I've never been able to get a committed partner um, situation in my life or I've felt left out when it comes to love. You know, there's a lot of people listening, so it manifests in different ways. But this is more, this is difficult energy and stuck energy that I'm feeling. And let's see what's coming next. Well, these two both wanted to come through. So 
it looks like with the lovers reversed and the knight of wands that um, there's a potential for um, a person to come back who you may have dated in the past or been in a connection in the past um, if they are of leo aries or sag a fire sign person that's you um, this can also be an indication of someone from a past life connection if you haven't dated anyone you know with those signs this can also mean that for some of you you have energy coming in of this fire sign person who kind of rushes in sweeps you off your feet but isn't that that kind of long-term committed relationship this could just be a fun date like exciting romance okay but let's see what else we got for you number one but there's at least one person coming in it doesn't have to be male you know it can be female energy um i'm just going to read it as the card is but you know obviously you adapt it for whatever your situation is. Lots of people listening. Ooh, okay. So we have some really positive, exciting love energy coming. You're moving from the past, which is kind of cold and stuck, to like movement and change. For some of you, you could actually be moving on from a long-term committed relationship. Maybe what's coming up here for some of you is you releasing someone who you thought was going to be a soulmate, a long-term partner, like the one, but they, but they weren't. And so I see in the future here you releasing that energy okay because there is this positive fiery energy of success of confidence someone who's really warm someone who's dynamic and exciting they could also be very successful this is a lot of leo here okay um so they could have a leo placement sun moon rising but they could also just be very successful in business, someone who's attractive, somebody who sort of grow, like draws attention to them, meaning like it's a kind of person that has like a big personality. Okay, so um, what I see you moving away from is this lack energy. And it could be connected to finance for some of you. It could also just be um, connected to feeling of like support because it doesn't have to just be financial support. It could also be that emotional support from family, from friends, from um, people around you. I feel like you have had to kind of go it on your own and... Um, yeah, there's definitely indication here for someone of a ending, of a breakup, of not moving forward with an engagement or not moving forward with a partner because they aren't committing or because they aren't um, interested in that long term relationship energy that maybe you are. But it's okay because um, I feel like with the unknown card here, it's almost like the energy over here is like stuck in maybe what you're hoping for, what you imagined or whatever this um, lacking is or this, this sort of difficult time. But you're not seeing all this positivity. You don't know yet. You don't know that there's this really positive fiery energy coming in for you. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, there's definitely the delay with the page of wands reverse, but again, it's more wand energy. So what I see coming in the future for you is a change in, um, kind of the type of people that you're dating and also in a like up uplifting kind of energy because before this was all stuck and earthy and like lacking and this is moving towards this beautiful emotional and fiery connection you have 
temperance coming through. So the universe wants you to know, and that's also Sagittarius energy. So we definitely have Leo Sag Aries coming in for you as a possible love connection. Um, the universe wants to know that although it's maybe delayed, there's like this ending that has to happen first over here, which can kind of, you know, until that lines up, this energy can't come in, but it's coming. I mean, this is success. Your final card is success. So I see you being happy. I see you being content. I see you being successful with your relationship. Um, we have the beautiful temperance, which is about balance, which is about connecting to the divine path. Um, and it's balancing that fire and water. It's balancing the emotion and um, the create the excitement, the passion. Um, but this is divinely guided. So I feel like what's coming for you is a much more balanced, a much more on your path um, connection. I feel like you're moving away from difficulty in past. Maybe some of you are even ending long term connections here. Some of you could be ending marriages or um, engagements even. Okay. Or for some of you the delay by your partner or the delay by someone who you're interested in you could let go of that finally and say you know what i'm done um but this is also about having faith and going with the flow of the universe and with the unknown card i feel like you're getting that message too which is like hang in there go with the flow because you will be successful I do see a very, very vibrant person coming in. We'll get more details about that. But I love the way this is moving for you. Okay. Let's see what the romance angels have about your future. What's coming next in love for number one. Yeah. Okay, this definitely it goes uh, for those people that are connecting to this past story over here or a past connection that stuck with that tower energy with the four of wands reverse with the lovers reverse. Look at this message confirmation. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So that's that part that needs to be released okay so if you're someone that really connected with that story that message is for you okay yeah time apart is on the horizon for you and your partner those of you that are in a connection or in a separation i do see that that is what is really best right now that energy of separation because look calling in your soulmate your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations can help bring you there. Believing, having faith, and connecting with the divine is really what's going on here. And I do see this soulmate energy as being someone who has all of those very warm qualities, okay? Warm and passionate, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries placements. Um, someone who's going to be very, like just dynamic who's going to express their feelings to you i feel like this person and this energy if this is you um this person that you're with or have been with in the past was cold this is the absolute opposite okay this is like winter this is summer i would also say summer could be a really good time for you connecting with love okay now we're going to go to the animal spirit for advice here for number one, what advice, what animal spirit energy do you need to connect with? Ooh, the lizard. Beautiful. Now, this is fire energy. This is a fire card because it's a desert dweller. This is the symbol for fire. Um, I love the lizard for you. Okay, so the message for the lizard is, the lizard is an expert in the realm of sensory perception. Is it, It's as if it's the sixth sense. The lizard hears what is yet to be spoken and sees what is yet to manifest, which is so wild because I don't want to mess everything up, but your first card was the unknown with the magic, like the crystal ball. It's like seeing things that haven't happened yet. 
Um, this can this is an amazing gift, but can wear the lizard down. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. The Five of Pentacles is also about being worn out, right? Being exhausted, being left out in the cold, right? Um, and you're getting a message here of taking care of yourself because with the lizard spirit, big crowds, lots of travel, overstimulation um, drains you, okay? So this is about pulling back, and returning to the inner, you know, like your inner knowing, your inner wisdom, but also your creativity, okay? For those of you that are creative or artistic, this is really about um, getting back into, you know, things that inspire you, things that bring about that creative inspiration. And it's interesting because you do have fire here and you have fire here. So your advice is really to focus on a creative project, focus on something that inspires you. Um, and by bringing yourself back to prayers, to affirmations, to getting yourself back in balance, um, because there's a lot of like draining, drained and like worn out energy here for you. So your advice is to really kind of to harness that, that inner creativity and give yourself a rest, give yourself a break. Okay. Now I'm going to use my oracles. We're going to start with the teacup. We're going to see what messages we have about this person and your next chapter. What do you need to know about your next chapter? <laughs> wow. Okay, taking a break. I Did I say taking a break? It's like the lizard message, taking a break. Give yourself a break. I think I said the word break. Oh my God. Um, beautiful. Yeah, confirmation. You need to give yourself a break. Wow. Okay, let's see what message from my deck, the Aphrodite Love Oracle, we have for you. What does Aphrodite have for number one about this next chapter? Diamond. Aphrodite's gemstone, tough, clear, brilliant, pure, number 52, the bond between you is unbreakable. That's really interesting because um, I felt like there could be, for some of you, not for all of you, there could be this past life connection here, okay? It feels very spiritual. It feels divinely guided. Um, but this can also indicate like a long-term commitment. Now, maybe you haven't committed in the past. Maybe you're the person that doesn't, hasn't been able to commit or has been flaky or has been like worn out or run down or just not able to do it. Um, but I feel like you're moving into a phase of your life in your next chapter where that's going to be, um, you're going to connect with someone where it's going to be much more solid and more long lasting. Okay. Now let's roll the Astro Dice and see what other messages come through for number one. Oops. Okay. This one we got to do again. Whoa. Okay, so we have the 12th house. That can be that exhaustion and separation here. Um, you have the north node of karma of your destiny, that message of the divine path of going with the flow of the temperance and Pisces energy. Pisces actually is also 12th house energy. So you're getting kind of a double message here about um, the 12th house. So that can also be about with retreating a little bit, resting the message of the lizard here. Okay. Some of you may have connections to Pisces energy or this person could, your next person. Um, it's interesting because I said fire and water with temperance. And we have fire here. We have Pisces coming through. Okay. Beautiful. I'm going to pull you some letters too. See what letters come through today. About your next chapter. You have A, E, T. <laughs> teacup love oracle um i couldn't help myself sorry w a maybe some of you are tea lovers p s w okay so um take a moment 
see if anything jumps out at you. It can be a word, an initial, a name, um, just something that resonates. I'm also going to do a charm reading for you. So this can be a little noisy. If you haven't done this with me before, you might want to turn the volume down. If you have headphones in, I'll give you a second. While you do that, I'm going to also remind you to please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and you come back all the time. I really need to get my subscriber numbers up. Um, I'd really appreciate it. I'll write all your comments below. Let me know how you connected with today's reading, what you thought about it. And if you want bonus content and extra readings every month, you can become a paid member by hitting the join button. And then you'll get access to all the the wonderful juicy readings I do for just my members, okay? And my two decks are for sale. I created them, the Teacup Love Oracle and the Aphrodite Love Oracle. The links are below. Okay, ready? What's coming next for number one? Number one, what do you have today? Okay, number one, here are your charms. It looks like you have... Oh, I love the owl. Okay, you have the feather, which is beautiful. Um, you know, that can be connected to the message of temperance, but also messages for you. You might really connect with birds, with feathers. There's the leaf. That's letting go. That's that tower energy. The star card, the star of healing. That's Aquarius energy. And we have the wise old owl. And I feel like that's what's coming for you. You're really going to connect with that wisdom. Um, that can also indicate Capricorn energy and also someone older as well. So there you go. That's your message for today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I really enjoy doing it. And um, I'm going to see you back here in just a couple of days. Thanks for coming by. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, number two, here's your reading. You were drawn to the energy of the Wheel of Fortune today, which is such a beautiful card. It's really about, you know, a change in fate, good luck, good fortune coming your way. So I'm excited to do your reading today. I'm going to start with the Crystal Visions Tarot messages for you. I'm also going to be using my two decks that I designed, the Teacup Love Oracle and the Aphrodite Love Oracle. Those links are below if you want to purchase. I'm also going to use the Wild Unknown um, Animal Spirit as well as the Romance Angels. Okay, so that's what we're going to start with, but I'm also going to do some other fun things. Um, let's get started. What's coming next in love for number two? Wow. We started with the five of pentacles for number one. So got goosebumps. Um, it was upright. It's reversed here. So you might, you know, let's see how the reading plays out, but you may want to watch number one as well. Okay. I'll let you know as we go along, but if you're feeling that, go ahead and listen to it as well. Um, okay. So starting with the five of pentacles reversed here, what we're looking at in the past is you are in the process or have already released a very difficult time. You're, you're moving it's interesting. Wow. Okay. It's kind of exactly what this is. Um, this is difficulty. This is maybe loss in finances. This can be feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, going through a very tough time. Okay. But it's reversed, which means you're moving past it or already have moved past it and your luck is changing. So I love it because it's actually very, um, that one wants to come out. It's very um, direct. It's like, okay, there's the message. Um, what I feel like is that there's um, an energy here, again, similar to number one's reading. There's a lot of pentacles here. And um, the reversal of the page is like not being able to commit in a relationship or being with someone who isn't able to commit. So I feel like in the past energy, there's this 
lack of commitment, lack of growth, lack of development of relationships. Maybe they started, but they didn't go anywhere. Um, maybe you were focused on finances or working or trying to work yourself out of a hole. Um, maybe you were with someone who was not very warm, someone who was cold, someone who wasn't interested in really um, committing or, you know, or growing or, um, you know, building a life together. This feels like just energy that wasn't, you know, that was very temporary. Okay. Um, but the fact that you're shifting with that beautiful wheel of fortune is, is wonderful. And with the reversals, it really shows t in me that for most of you, um, not everyone, but for most of you, you've already dealt with a lot of these issues and you're moving past them and you're like so ready to go, you know? Yeah. So I feel like it's really important for you to... Um, to kind of listen to yourself in the future and not get caught up in friends, family, people around you and their opinions about your love, okay? Your love life, your love partners. Um, this is really a message of the universe saying, hey, trust yourself when it comes to love. Listen to yourself, yeah. I feel like it, that there is... Um, Sometimes for you, there could be a person or people around you that kind of confuse you or undermine your confidence and make you sort of unclear about love, okay? Um, but see, the hermit is smart. The hermit is so wise. The hermit knows. It has all of this deep information within. Um, there's, there's something about you in the future really taking the time to get to know someone and really taking your time committing um, because of your past, okay? This is also Virgo energy. This can indicate someone with Virgo placements. Either you, could be you, could be your partner coming in. But I definitely feel like there's a point of you um, taking time to yourself after some difficulty. I feel like you're going to take time to get to know what it is you want, okay? For some of you, and again, this is a similar reading, similar cards from number one. Some of you may have a broken engagement in the past or an end of a relationship um, or just never getting that commitment that you were hoping for from someone in your past. Yes, yeah, so, oh my God, stuck energy of death reversed. Um, in the number one, it was the tower reverse. So, wow. Wow. Yeah, similar themes. Um, this is about being stuck in a pattern or stuck with a person or a relationship um, that is definitely not helping you move forward. So the shift is shifting you away from all of that, which is really positive. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, you're letting go of the devil energy. So I feel like for some of you, you're in a you were in a partnership with someone that was unhealthy or um, like obsessive. This can also be Capricorn energy; doesn't have to be, but um, connections that aren't like healthy. Okay. Okay. So we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands coming for you in the future. So I love that because this really shows um, partnership energy coming in for you. And it's with someone who is on um, a similar level, mature wise, maturity wise, you guys seem to be on the same path. Um, this is female fire sign energy, Leo Sag Aries. This is male um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it doesn't have to be, but it's just that masculine and feminine energy, whichever you identify with is what you would, you know, how you would read this. Um, but it's somebody who's very sensitive, somebody who's very caring, um, someone who's very warm and someone who's very passionate, um, who's, who's definitely got their act together, knows what they want and is, is really like, just knows what they want and where they're at. You also have the beautiful Ten of Cups energy. So this is really moving you towards the possibility for a long-term um, committed connection with someone where there's a lot of emotional support and love. For some of you, this can even mean, um, indicate a future with family, um, children, if you're interested 
yeah the one thing that i see over here is that there needs to be this tower moment there needs to be this ending of some sort because with the death card reversed it's always about um needing to release okay and a lot of this energy feels stuck so i do see the wheel of fortune shifting for you but part of it is kind of um it's all timing and the timing is when all of that energy sort of falls away yes the universe is saying you are going to find wow beautiful a, a very strong partner someone who is your match who is your equal somebody who's going to care for you in the way that you really need them to this is very strong leo energy coming in Okay, but this is real potential here. It's just a matter of getting unstuck, I think is the big message. But let's see what else we can get from the Oracle. I'm going to start with messages from the Romance Angels. Oh, wow. Beautiful. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. This is giving and receiving the highest energy of all, that strength card, that beautiful partnership with two strong, powerful people. The devil card is the lower vibrational energy. So that's what you're releasing, okay? In whatever form, it'll be different for different people. Sometimes the devil energy can be the way that we perceive love ourselves or the you know things that we do ourselves. Sometimes it's represented by a person outside of us, a connection that we have that's unhealthy healthy wow give your relationship a chance work on your partnership yeah the strength card is all about partnership too and with the energy coming in for you we have two beautiful very strong as i said at the same level people because we have a king and queen so they're both mature they're both strong they both know what they want reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so there is a possibility for some of you not for all of you for reconciliation this would not be with this person whoever the devil represents or this energy over here because all of this is um, tower energy looking to fall away okay so the reconciliation could be with a new person um, you know, I mean, not new because reconciliation means someone from the past, but not the energy that we talked about over here. Okay. So I just don't want you to get confused there because this is very clear about releasing. Okay. I'm going to use the animal spirit to get a message for you. Advice for number two about the future. What advice do you need today? Ooh, bat. I love it. Yeah, this is definitely about releasing. With the bat card, you're getting a message about letting go, about death and rebirth, okay? And you do have the death card reversed, which is about holding on to something that needs to be released. So you are getting confirmation here about that area we talked about, these messages about needing to let go with that devil energy. Um, so the back card is really about the ending of a significant chapter, closing a door, okay? The bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new day dawns, no more lingering in the past. How amazing, because um, you started with your choice of the Wheel of Fortune, and that's all about moving, shifting, and the wheel doesn't wait. It's time to move on. It's time to shift, right? So when you're not doing, you know, when you're, when you're living with the bad energy in a negative space, it's when you hold on to things and don't let go, which is what this represents. Okay. Um, but by accepting things and moving on, that's when you're really elevating the energy. So that's what the universe is saying here with the advice of the bat, which is to let go. It's, it's literally almost dawn. It's time to move on. Okay. That's very, very clear here with all of your cards. Um, okay. So I'm going to use my decks. I'm going to start with ooh, the teacup love Oracle. Let's see what messages we get about love for you today. Number two.
Ah, look at that. Refreshing change. I love it. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is going to be a refreshing change for you. What's coming next for you is a big shift, a big change, and it's going to be something that you are going to be happy with, okay? It's going to be much different than anything you've experienced in the past, okay? Now, let's see what message we can have from the Aphrodite deck. This is also my deck. Both of these are for sale. You can check the links below. Let's see what Aphrodite has for you about what's coming next. Number two. Number two. Roses. Aphrodite's flower. Devotion. True love. Affectionate. Safety. Wow. It is safe for you to love safety. Love is a gift. Open your heart to give and receive. Love is a gift. You are getting confirmation here in my deck and with the um, romance angels that it's safe to love. Open your heart. You have a gift coming, right? You don't want to close your hand and not take what the universe is bringing you because you're holding on to something from the past, right? You want to take that gift of good fortune. Wow, powerful. Okay, I love it. Now, let's see what other messages we get today for you, number two. What do we have for number two? Fourth house, Sagittarius and Uranus. So, unexpected, exciting, and shifts. Uranus is the planet of the unexpected. Um, we have the fourth house. Some of you may actually be moving in connection with this love energy. And Sagittarius, there could be a foreign person, place, or thing, or someone with um, who loves to travel. That could be you. That could be your partner. You could travel together. That can also indicate um, university, studying, um, just expansion right? And it's fire energy. And it could indicate a Sagittarius sun, moon, or rising sign coming in. So very excited. That would be a refreshing change. You're going from being out in the cold, um, holding on to something that's not moving forward, um, to movement and change and fiery change, okay? So you've got to get your head straight. You've got to clear away from people that are in your ear or people that are confusing you, letting go of whatever that devil energy represents for you, okay? Now... Let's see what letters come up. You have P, I, R, P, R. Wow, a lot of PRs. Public Relations. Um, Piper. C, E, a blank you could fill in. I, D, blank again. Wow, L. Okay, so there are some letters to work with. Could be an initial, a name, a place, something that just pops out at you. Um, listen to your intuition when it comes to the letters, because sometimes it doesn't make sense. Like, I just saw the word chipper. I don't know why I did, but it's not there. But I, it's what I saw, you know? So just do that kind of thing and listen to your to whatever pops up for you, okay? Now, I am going to do a charm reading for you. This can be a little noisy, so I just want to give anyone with headphones a moment to turn their volume down. And while I do that, while you do that, I will remind you to like this video and please subscribe to my channel. It's free. Just hit the subscribe button. If you come back all the time, I'd really appreciate it. I want to get my subscriber numbers up. Um, and if you're interested in getting bonus content every month, if you'd like more readings, you can always join and become a member and get a paid membership. Hit join to find out more about that. Um, that's where you get extra readings every month. And my two decks are for sale. The um, Teacup Love Oracle and the Aphrodite Love Oracle. So if you want to purchase those, go right ahead. The links are below. Okay. Number two. 
Number two, you have the Libra charm. Okay, so some Libra energy is coming through for you today. Um, you have the sea turtle. The sea turtle travels home to lay its eggs. So this could be some message about travel, about going home. We also have the moon, which is that safety, that opening your heart, that emotional connection, and the dragonfly. Dragonflies. <laughs> I just read this, so I'm going to share it with you. And this is really funny. Considering your reading, I just want you to listen to this because it's interesting. I just read that dragonflies will pretend to be dead to avoid mating with a male that they don't want to. So it's so interesting that I just read that and you have the death card reversed and you're having, for some of you, you're being really encouraged to let go of uh, some devil energy in a relationship. So be the dragonfly and dragonflies also, um, they also are so amazing. They really connect us to the synchronicity of the universe, right? And they get us to get our minds clear. They're about clarity and clearing your mind, which you also have messages about today. So take all of that, whatever resonates, leave the rest. I can't wait to hear what you thought of today's reading. Write all your comments below. And um, I'm sending you so much love. I'll see you back here in a couple of days. Hey, number three, here's your reading. I'm excited to take a look at the messages for you today about what's coming next in love. So you were drawn to the magician today. And I love, I mentioned in the intro, if you saw it, that I love this magician. <laughs> I love his tattoos. I just think he's so hot. Um, but anyway, the magician energy is really an energy of manifestation also like an encouragement from the universe that you have all the tools you need to do anything you want okay and the magician energy also can connect with virgo and gemini okay because the magician is a great communicator so it can be someone who is one of those signs it can also just indicate someone who's a good writer you know a good communicator um you know somebody who's who's got great social skills right um so today i'm going to be using the um crystal oracle deck um, excuse me the crystal visions tarot deck and i'm going to also use some oracle decks um i'm going to use my two that i designed which are the teacup love oracle and the aphrodite love oracle both of those are listed below if you want to purchase them they can ship anywhere in the world and um so go ahead you're welcome to purchase those and use them yourself if you do please be sure to um Follow me on Instagram as well and let me know. Take a picture of, you know, you when you get your cards or you using your cards and share it. Okay, I'd love to see that. Um, I'm also going to use the Animal Spirit Oracle from the Wild Unknown and the Romance Angels. So I'm also going to do other fun things. We're going to just get into it and see how it flows. So let's start with your tarot messages about what's coming next in love. Number three, let's see what the universe has for you today. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. four of wands interesting we've had similar cards on the kind of the past energy for all now all three piles kind of um so it's interesting for me okay so what i see here in the past for you is this energy of um a very sort of honest good you know hard-working person someone who's who's very sort of practical someone who could be an earth sign a taurus virgo capricorn um somebody who takes their time in relationship and might be a little bit cautious um and i see the possibility of a broken engagement or some sort of delay when it comes to this connection connection going to the next level so for some of you that can mean that you um, waited a long time for someone to come through that didn't happen or you're still in the process with this connection and um you are not you you two are not in a like firmly committed engaged or married situation um but let's see what else comes through 
Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles reversed and the Five of Wands. Okay, so what I see for the future um, in terms of love for you is really wanting to focus on one relationship. So if you've been someone that's dated um, or has had kind of light relationships and hasn't really committed or been serious with anyone, I feel like what's coming in the future is you stopping playing games with people or having a relationship with people who play games with you. It's like you're tired of whatever the dating game is and you're letting go of that and moving towards focusing on like wanting one relationship, um, wanting one one like focus okay so for those of you that maybe um are in a relationship or have someone in your past that you've kind of been frustrated with i feel like you're going to get fed up with that eventually but let's see what else comes through okay so we have the three of cups reversed And the Four of Cups. Interesting. Okay. Two fours here. I feel like for some of you, um, it's interesting because we have the Three of Cups here, which is those three and it's reversed and then we have the four right next door so what i see here is um i feel like for some of you you have been focusing on a connection that isn't really bringing you joy isn't really bringing you enough happiness okay but there's one person that you may be missing Okay, because it's connected to the one here and the two of pentacles reversed is really focusing on one. So I feel like for some of you, um, you there's somebody that is in your environment that you are going to end up connecting with. OK, in the past, you've been too focused either on your friends or too focused on this one person who wasn't committing. Or for some of you, um, you could have just not even had a serious relationship you've just kind of gotten off to slow starts with people and then nothing ever materializes okay it's going to be different for different people but i do feel like there is someone who could be um around you in your environment that oh that you are going to end up dating okay here they are it's the knight of cups <laughs> there's that cup because guess what this is who you're missing, who you're not seeing, who you're not aware of. And look what he's carrying. There's the cup. So yeah, there's a water sign energy romantic person um, in your environment close by, not far away, who um, I believe is coming for you in the future. This is an energy that's moving towards you. Interesting. Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles reverse. So this can represent you and your energy. This could represent someone around you. Um, this is somebody who's not really reliable. This is somebody who's not really into commitment. This could be you. And this could be something you're releasing because it's reversed. Okay. It could also be someone that your partner is releasing. Um, but this energy of Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, female energy, um, is about not committing. It's about not really interested in long term. It's about, you know, um, somebody that doesn't want to build things, somebody that's kind of selfish, somebody isn't, isn't really focused on their partner. Um, I feel like whoever that person is or a person represents is, um, is being released. It's being let go of. It's it's over. That kind of behavior is over. I feel like the focus is more for you on the future on something that is really more of an emotional connection. It's not about material wealth. It's not about um, being selfish. It's about really connecting emotionally. And um, I think that that's going to really feel really nice for you. Okay. Because this person, this energy coming in is really honest, really wants to show you who they are 
are, isn't going to lie, isn't going to play games. They feel very secure. Okay, let's see. Now they could have an X that represents all of this energy that you have to, you like kind of say no thanks to. Okay, so you have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yes, with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, the universe is saying this person is going to need you to really express yourself. You can't be apathetic. You can't be bored. You can't be not paying attention. It's like heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Ooh, see the magician, the communicator. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, what I see coming up for you is the need for you to really get in touch with your feelings and to be more expressive, okay? I feel like this person that you've been in a relationship with or the energy that's been around you, even if you haven't been in a relationship, like your friend energy, was just like... It, it wasn't good. It, it wasn't what you needed emotionally. It's not what you need emotionally. And you're going to drop anything that isn't working for you in the future. That's what I see. And dropping any people that are playing games, whether they're friends or whether, you know, it's someone you're in a relationship with. Okay, so I'm going to use the animal spirit to find out advice for you, number three. What advice does number three need today? about your next chapter. Ooh, wolf. I love it. So the message of the wolf is really about being the guardian of the family, the guardian of the tribe. Um, this is also energy that is like encouraging you to accept everyone as they are, not assume that everyone's going to be exactly the way you are. Um, you know, bringing people into your life and also showing your emotions. I feel like this is that message as well. It's like you know, letting go of being judgmental, of being dominating, and letting go of any, you know, any kind of, um, any, like, kind of sort of um, tendencies to exclude people or to keep your feelings to yourself, to be the lone wolf, right? This is encouraging you to create connections and to talk about your feelings and to be romantic, right? And it's like being fearless too. It's like not being afraid to express your love, howling at the moon, you know, like a wolf. Oh, I love this. Okay. So now I'm going to get a message for you from my deck, the Teacup Love Oracle. Let's see, what message do we have today? Okay, third party, there you go. Okay, so over here, we had this Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands reversed, like something being canceled. Um <laughs> And also, we have with the Four of Cups, we have someone focused on three over here and missing the one. I feel like you could have been in or are in a third party situation, even if it's this friend situation that's just unhealthy or you're being excluded in some way or something's going on behind your back or you're involved in a third party situation and the universe is saying, forget that. Focus on this one person who's actually available for you, okay? twin flame. What you have coming in is this beautiful energy of twin flame. And so that makes sense because, you know, twin flame energy isn't always easy. And that's why you're having these messages about discussing your feelings and expressing your love. Because a lot of times it's like, um, you know, the person's mirroring us and we don't always like it, you know, because they have kind of what's missing in us. Um, I love the twin flame message with the two of pentacles. It's even the green color. Um, you know, it's about focusing on this one person coming in. You have twin flame energy. Why focus on this third party situation or this triangle thing over here? You know, for those of you that that applies, you know. Okay, now from Aphrodite, let's see what message we have for number three. Ooh, lust. 
desire, reckless, fickle, obsession. Number 37, there is lust first, then love. Okay, well, as long as there's love eventually, I mean, hey, sometimes this is how things start. So, um, you know, just know that this energy is coming in for you. You've got lust, you've got love, you got a lot going on here. It's kind of exciting. Okay, gonna roll the Astro Dice and see what else we have. Number three. Okay, 10, 10th house, Leo, Uranus. Okay, Uranus is the planet of the unexpected. Um, we have Leo coming in, so some fire energy, and the 10th house is career and in the public. So this could be, you know, like kind of a very public connection coming up for you. There could be a connection for you and the love in the future with work with your career um, with other 10th house matters we also have leo energy so this person could have leo placement sun moon or rising okay now i am gonna pull you some letters let's see what letters come up for number three s i d h a l C and blank. So you can fill that in. Now, it doesn't have to spell a word out. This can just trigger something in you and an intuition, um, a place, a word, a saying, something. So play around with it. See what comes up. Um, I'm also today going to do a charm reading. That can be a little noisy. If you have headphones in, I'm going to give you a second to turn down the volume. And while you do that, I'm going to remind you to please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. It's important. It helps me. Um, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. If you're interested in a paid membership, you would hit the join button and find out more. The join button will get you to my paid members um, videos, which are accessible only to my members. Okay. And that's the Aphrodite Circle. It's $14.99 a month, and it gets you all my bonus content. I also have my decks for sale, the Love, the Teacup Love Oracle, and the Aphrodite Love Oracle. Both of those are listed below. They're on my page, and they ship anywhere in the world. Ooh, we have this sword popping out. Okay, so there's something about cutting away something or someone. This can also be about communication. You did start with the magician. That could be um, Gemini or Virgo energy. You have the family tree, growth, long-term stability. You also have the grapes. Okay, which I think of as like celebration and fun and enjoying yourself. Um, you have the the ballerina. Now, sometimes this can be perfectionist energy. That could also be um, connected to Virgo, someone who works really hard. It could just also be a dancer, someone who's a dancer. Um, believe in love. Yes, believe in love. There is love coming. There's this beautiful, romantic energy coming in of the Knight of Cups. Um, so just have faith that that energy is moving towards you. Okay, number three, those are all your messages. I can't wait to hear what you thought of today's reading. Write them below, and I'll see you back here in a couple of days. Bye. Hey, number four, here's your reading. You were drawn to the messages of the High Priestess and her energy. The High Priestess is all about trusting your intuition, connecting with that inner knowing, connecting your practical world with your spiritual world, um, having kind of both that like practical knowledge and spiritual connection. She is powerful. So um, this is going to be really fun. It's also sometimes a message about balance. We have the two she's the two card but we also sometimes see the high priestess with the two columns on either side representing that spiritual and that physical realm so it'll be interesting to see how this comes together in your reading today um, I am going to use the crystal visions tarot to start with I'm also going to be using some oracle cards including my decks the teacup love oracle and the Aphrodite love oracle both of those are for sale my links are 
below and you can purchase them and have them shipped anywhere in the world. I'm also going to use the Romance Angels today and the Animal Spirit Oracle. So plus some other fun things. Sit back, get comfy, get cozy. Let's see what we have for you today. What's coming in your next chapter? Okay, so we're starting with the Eight of Cups. Oh, I'm going to put those back. And if you saw them and they kind of connected for you, take those messages as they resonate. But they didn't feel like it for me because I wasn't quite ready. So let's see what we have for number four. Okay, so what we're starting with here, uh, messages about the past, about kind of the energies that you're working with now in the present and in the past. Um, we're looking at the message of the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is really about leaving behind kind of what you've already connected with emotionally or um, feeling like you've got quite a bit going on in your life, but there may be one thing missing. And it's about kind of going in search of that. When it's reversed, it's about staying where you are. It's about not leaving anything and finding what you want where you are, okay? Um, we also see that you may have been working on or building a connection with someone. Um, you may be in the process of it. You could have partnered um, or met someone through work. Um, and I see this as positive energy for you. I feel like you're coming from a place of kind of a solid feeling about how to build connections. Um, or for some of you, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for that. That's what you want in terms of relationships. You're looking for someone who's going to be your true supporter, fan, um, someone who's going to help you build something with your future. Um, Wow, so a lot of pentacle energy coming through in all the readings today. So what I see in the future is that you're going from the three of pentacles to the four. Now the four is when we kind of feel like we're holding on. We're afraid to let go. We have some things, we have some money, we have some success, and we're afraid. We're afraid of losing it. Okay, so we get really worried about security when we have that four of pentacles. So I feel like that's going to become important for you. Um, wow, two fours. So we also have the four of swords. The four of swords is really taking time to yourself, going within. Okay, um, I, let's pull another card on that. Why are we getting the four of swords? Okay, um, for some of you, I feel like you are going to break away from some sort of um, more of your traditional values. I feel like what's happening here for you is you maybe stayed very close to home or had a very traditional view of the way your life should go. I feel like something, um, taking some time off, having some sort of epiphany, um, something maybe even forcing you to take time to yourself makes you sort of question some of the basic things that you've become very attached to. So I feel like you're going to let go of some of those in the future when it comes to relationships. Yeah, I see a beautiful energy of strength. I see you wanting to partner with someone who is your equal, okay? The strength card is also about balance and so is the high priestess. And it's interesting because the hierophant comes up reversed with the high priestess was the card you chose. It's like, I feel like you're gonna become your own guru. Like, if that makes sense, like you're getting very in touch with your own spirituality. Yeah. And you're cutting off any friends or any connections that don't really fit into who you are. I see you moving away from maybe who you were in the past and kind of growing. Yeah, more hermit energy. Four of swords is kind of hermit energy. Four, a lot of fours here. And the... um the hermit. The hermit is the wise one. The hermit has the wisdom within. It doesn't need it from external sources. So I feel like you are growing into your own spiritual guru um, and you're going to take time to yourself to figure out who you are in relationships. And part of that connection and your next chapter comes from you really working on your spirituality. 
Yeah, I feel like you have you you change what you believe to be um, a happily ever after. I feel like you're gonna go for something a little less conventional in the future than what you've actually always thought you would. Okay. There is Virgo energy coming through for you. You could be releasing a Taurus in the future. Um, yeah, Two of Swords. You're going to start really, really listening to your heart. You're going to start to, yeah, you're having a big change in perspective. What I see coming in the future is you really taking a step back. There's, you know, I mean, it's not... It's not exciting in some ways, this reading, and if you don't enjoy it, you can listen to another one, but um, this is what's coming through, and it's important. What I think is that you're going to be going through a real shift in your perspective. You're going to take time out of relationships and away from relationships and focus on you, what you want, your spirituality, your growth, you are going to really change the way that you approach relationships. And you may be attracted to people who are different than what your normal type has been. We have Pisces coming through. We have Virgo coming through. So it could be opposites attract. Um, wow, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're going to be really surprised by the people that you start attracting because you're going to be focused in a new way on love you're going to be doing new things you could even meet someone through um like a spiritual course connection um some sort of like uh class that you take we have the king of swords coming through so there could be male energy or masculine energy um libra aquarius gemini involved in your future and in your love energy Okay, someone who's very direct, someone who speaks their truth, um, and someone who really um, connects with you in a different way. Okay, let's see what messages we have from the romance angels. This is really big about you really connecting to your center and to your um, spiritual path chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here yeah this person is going to be very you're going to both feel it very strong and it's a new connection new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings yeah i knew it was new energy you're leaving something behind this idea of someone who's maybe like similar to people you've grown up with or you know kind of solid you know nothing wrong with that energy i just feel like the person coming in is going to be very dynamic um very different and um exciting to you okay but it's going to come after you take that time to yourself now how long that is i don't know but you know I definitely see you appear, taking a t period of time to maybe not dating, maybe to, like I did said, doing, you know, a course, studying something you're interested in, focusing on you and your spiritual growth. Okay, let's see what advice we have from the animal spirit about this next chapter number four it's interesting you're number four you got a lot of four messages wow the bat came through for number three i think or number two there's been so many similar messages okay the bat is really about a big shift and ending is coming this is a transformation for you you are leaving behind almost like i feel it could be a person or a relationship but for a lot of you it feels like you're leaving behind something about yourself you're transforming and changing the bat is like it's time to go can't hold on to old stuff anymore because dawn is coming and it's a new day you have new love you have new love coming so that old sort of mentality and that old belief system i really feel like that's a big part of it yeah okay now i'm going to use my decks let's start with the teacup love oracle let's see what messages we have about love divine timing yep there it is time's up 
the bat message, divine timing, things are about to shift, you're letting go. And that's also that waiting part, that taking that time to yourself, that four of swords, that's taking time to yourself till the king of swords shows up. Okay. Peace offering. It's interesting. Someone may come and try and make a peace offering with you. Um, you can accept it or not accept it. That can also be part of it. That could be this energy from the past or the present. But in the future, I see you with someone new. Okay, and now from my Aphrodite Oracle, let's see what messages Aphrodite has for you. Number four. Venus, Aphrodite's planet, love and friendship, perfection, star, dreamy, number five, wishes are coming true. I love it. So this person could become a friend first and then a love. This feels like something you have wished for or wanted. You're connecting with that, that star energy, that higher elevated energy in love. That's what's coming up for you, number four. It's really beautiful. Okay, now let's roll the Astro Dice. Let's see what other messages come through. Five. Look at that. Number five. So five is important. That's about love and romance. Now, did I knock this? Okay, we have Scorpio, but... I don't, you know what? I'm going to pause this and rewind and see if I can see it because I feel like I knocked it. Okay, let's look. Or Aquarius, but it came up Scorpio for this, you know, for this. Um, so we'll check and see. But um, you also have Saturn. Now, Saturn is all about work. It's about things also taking time. Okay, it's about slowing things down. So I kind of feel like that's the divine timing message as well. That can also connect to work energy. Okay, working together. Now, let's see what initials and letters come through for you. You have X. You do have X energy around. You have I, O, and P. Okay, S. C, R, and a blank. Okay, you can fill in. So it doesn't have to be a whole word. If something, you know, jumps out at you, if you see a word, um, you know, listen to your intuition, trust it, especially since you were so drawn to the energy of the high priestess, right? Because that's what you really want to do is honor that energy. Okay, so now I am going to do a charm reading as well. We're going to see what messages the charms have for you about your future. Um, take a moment and turn your volume down. If you have headphones in, this can be a little noisy. While you do that, I'm going to remind you to please like this video. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. It really helps. I need to get my subscriber numbers up. So I'd appreciate it if you come back all the time. It's free. Just click the button. And if you're interested in bonus readings, you can hit the join button and find out how to become a paid member. Um, I do bonus content every month for my paid members only. And my two decks, as I mentioned, are for sale. The Teacup Love Oracle and the Aphrodite Love Oracle. The links are below. Now, if you've purchased them, um, I would really love it if you'd follow me on Instagram and um, take a picture of you using the cards or a video and tag me. I'd love to see um, how you're having fun and how you're using them, okay? Um, someone, another tarot reader just featured me on her, her um, reel and I've got to look up her name and it was so sweet. So um, it reminded me that I need to have all of you that have purchased it um, reach out and let me know because I'd love to add it to Instagram. Okay. So it's love goddess tarot on Instagram. Okay. So here are your charms. Give you a little bit of a closer look. You have the Libra charm. You have the Aquarius charm. So that might have been Aquarius. It'll be fun to see. Um, you have the leaf of transformation and change, letting go. You also have, you are my sunshine. 
beautiful a big open heart love venus friendship and that beautiful bird um freedom and change so I'm excited to hear all of your comments and let me know what you thought of today's reading. Those are your messages for today. I will see you back here in a couple of days. And until then, I am sending you so much love.